All right, a big part of being a web developer these days is using the terminal. Uh, the terminal is something that creative and visual people kind of avoid uh, in a lot of ways because it kind of there's no instruction manual, there's no buttons to it, and you, it feels like it's hard to wrap your mind around what all the terminal is. We're going to break that down to a very low level. It's very simple. It's just a few basic commands uh, to be really comfortable in the terminal. So we're going to do that today, and this will hopefully really help you out. If you need to open it, you've never opened it before, you're going to go Applications, uh, Utilities, and then terminal and there it is and I'll drag terminal onto my dock so it's saved there um, and here we are at our terminal and by default it's going to open us up to our tilde directory which is our users home directory let's get into our first command our first command is ls um, and if you're on Windows that's going to be dir for the most part these commands are going to be the same uh, but this is really a Mac Linux um, tutorial you may have to Google you know what the commands are but the principles are all exactly the same so here we go LS you can see this is my home directory for my user um, and so LS is going to show me my list of all the files and the folders the next command we're going to use is CD CD is change directory I can go CD space pictures and ls and you can see this is my pictures directory for my home users I don't really have any pictures just my iPhoto library and my photo booth library um, and then I can also go cd dot dot which is going to go up a level into my previous directory so now I'm back to my user directory uh, a hotkey that you can do is command K Apple K which clears out your terminal uh, which is a very useful command um, you can see, so I'm back to my home directory. Um, you can also go cd forward slash, which is going to take me to my root directory, which is the same as just going Macintosh HD. You can see that's this, applications library system, blah, blah, blah. Now I'm now at my root directory. So I can go back to my user directory, or I can go there the long way, which is cd space users, cmn. There we go. I'm back at my cmn, my home login directory. So if I want to go to multiple directories at a time, I can go CD space code. I know I have a code directory, sandbox. I have a sandbox directory test. I just went into a up a level to code, up a level to sandbox, up a level to test. I just went into that folder. And if I hit LS, I have one folder here called another folder. So let's go ahead and make another directory here. It's mkdir, make directory. mkdir, yet another folder. So if I hit ls, there we go, yet another folder. Um, I'm actually going to open this test folder that I'm in right now. So you can see I made yet another folder. Let's make another one. And again, there we go, and again. So now I have three folders in here. Um, if I want to remove a folder, I can rm and again. Oh, it's a it's a full directory, so I have to use rm slash r, which is recursive, and again. There we go. So if I want to actually remove a file, I can just use rm for remove, um, or I can use rm dash r, which will remove recursively anything inside of that entire directory. So we're almost out of commands. I know you're probably freaking out that this is all the terminal is. It's ls. It's cd. It's make directory and it's RM. That's pretty much it. I'll get to show you a couple cool commands here, uh, but let's do one more and that is touch. That will create a file for me. So I touched index.html. Why it put it under there? I have no idea. So I touched index.html. That made a blank file called index.html. I can open index.html and it will open it in whatever my default program for that is, which in this case is Chrome. So I get an empty page. I can open index.html, and if I do dash A, and then in these quotes I can put a program name. It does. It is case sensitive, so I can't do lowercase sublime text. I have to do uppercase sublime, uppercase text. And there we go, here's my index.html. So I can just kind of go, I'm a web page. Save it, close it. So now if I open index.html, I'm a web page. There we go. 
Um, and I can also open it up in Sublime Text again, and there it is. I can edit it and save it. This is actually pretty convenient. Uh, I, I'm using all the time now open commands from the command line because it's really convenient. Uh, one thing you'll notice I'm doing is that when I hit the up and down arrows, it goes through all my previous commands. Another thing that's very, very, very useful because uh, lots of times you'll just want to do a command over and over and over again, and it's a lot easier to hit up. Um, another thing you can do is open dot. That's going to open my current folder that I'm in, which is test. So if I hit open dot, it's going to open it in Finder, which is the default. So let me show you again. Open dot opens Finder. If you're ever in the, com the command line and there's just something you want to do that's more convenient for you in, in Finder, like say rename this, get another folders, you know, sometimes that's just easier for you to do in Finder uh, if you're not comfortable with a command line and you just want to open dot. I can also open dot with application sublime text. And that's going to take me to my whole folder. You know, so I got my whole folder view now in Sublime Text. Very, very useful. Uh, I can do that in any other program I want. Um, and so that's a great command. Gosh, we're almost out of basic command line commands. Uh, pretty much the only other thing that we're going to want to do. Let's see, we've done RM, so let me list. I will open dots so we can see this happen in action. So I can rm index.html, let's delete it, there we go. I can rm-r my yet another folder. Uh, whoops, it's just called yet, it's yet another folder, zuh, I renamed it. And if you want to rename things, let me touch index.html again. There, it's back. So what I can do is I can rename it. That's MV. It's called, it's for move. Uh, but move is actually how you rename it. I'm going to rename index.html to index2.html. There we go. It just got renamed. I can rename another folder. This folder. There we go. It just got renamed. So the MV is your rename. That's kind of counterintuitive to a lot of people, but you're really not renaming the file. You're moving the file to a different location uh, as far as the command line is concerned. You're moving it to a different URL or path, so to speak. Uh, so that's pretty much that. I'll show you one more cool trick and we'll be done with this. Is At any point in time, you can hit tab to autocomplete. So if I wanted to open... In, if I just hit IN and hit TAB, it's going to auto-complete that for me. Ah, that saves so many typos, especially if you have complex file names. So if I go open in index2.html, there we go, it opened it. If I go open – I can't do it on uh, program names, unfortunately, uh, but I was able to auto-complete that there and then I can also open this I can just hit tab this folder a there we go this folder is now open in sublime text so that's pretty much the commands CD you can go CD forward slash to go to your root directory you can go CD slash tilde to go to your user directory LS is going to show your file names MKDIR and these will all be in the description uh, as your cheat sheet make directory rename a file, or should I say move a file, um, and remove a file, uh, which you have to do slash r for directories. That's your intro to the terminal. Do it, play around, use some commands, have fun, and know that you don't have to be afraid of the terminal anymore. Thanks. Have a great day.